So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this is one of the few looks I have on my Instagram that has uh, more likes. So I figured that I start with this because this is a you know, very winter um, wine red, and I love this color. Uh, this is mostly makeup keep bitten, and I didn't use a lot of shadow in it, so it's not very hard. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day, and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Hey girls! So now I'm just tidying my hair up so it won't get in the way while I'm doing my makeup. After that, I'm gonna grab my Nivea Bam After Shade Balm, as you can see here. I'm using it as a primer now. Um, I'm sure you guys would have heard about it by now. A lot of YouTubers start using it as a primer. I got it while I was in New Zealand, and I thought it worked quite well for me. And I have combination skin, by the way. Now, move on to my face. Uh, I usually use a girl pro conceal in the shade new to do a little color correct because I have very serious under eye dark circle problem. And then I will layer my foundation on top of that. And today I'm using Maybelline Matte and Poreless in two shade 120 and 220. I'm mixing them two together. place my foundation on my face, I just use any foundation brush I have to blend it out. Um, I'm using this one I bought it off from a Chinese website, Taobao. Now move on to the bag. I'm using Elf Brow Kit. Uh, I hold this in my American drugstore makeup haul. And I always take forever to do my brows, so I cannot let you guys bear through bear through the whole process with me. That's why I fast forward the whole thing. But you uh, basically I just start with underlining my brow and what shape I want it to be and how archy I want it to be. And then I will go to the upper line and then fill it in with the wax and then the powder on top. Done with the brow. Now for eyeshadow primer. I'm using Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potions. I just got this a few months ago and I love it. And I just use my finger to apply it all over my lid. Now I'm using Scotch Tape to tape it under my eye, create a very clear line and prevent shadow fallout, uh, making my base dirty. But this is totally optional, it's up to you. I'm using a fluffy brush and two Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes, Stilted Camaro, and put it on my crease. Just keep blending until you think it's okay, that you like it the way it looks. Now I'm gonna put another color on my crease. It's Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. I'm using the same fluffy brush to put on my crease. Now I'm gonna put Cherry Cordial from Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette a little bit below my crease and then blend it up onto my crease. And while 
I'm doing this, I will also take a fluffy blending brush to blending up to my crease. I have no idea why I changed my mirror so many times. <laughs> now I am taking my e.l.f. cream liner to put it on my lash line and it doesn't have to be a very clean look, line so don't worry about it now here comes the main star my got the shadow bitten um, I'm gonna use a smaller flat tip brush to put it on the gel line that we just put on and then I will blend it up with another fluffier smaller brush and this is going to be a very long process because you want to blend the line out completely then you don't see the color you just want the black liner to intensify your eyeshadow and makes the look stronger, more intense and this is going to be the last shadow that we use on our lid so you need to blend it out very seamlessly I do apologize when I'm too focused on my blending that I didn't notice if the mirror was covering my face or not. And as I did before, I will always just take a fluffy blending brush next to me to use it whenever I'm doing my shadow to blend the color onto my crease like this seamlessly. After this, I will go finish my art eyes and come back to the camera. Both my eyeshadow done, it's time for concealer. Now you have to remove the scotch tape, obviously. And don't you just love the clear line that scotch tape can help you create? And I'm using two concealer today, mainly Fit Me Concealer in 15. I'm sorry about the camera, you can't really see it. And L a girl pro can see in creamy beige and I'm using Maybelline Fit Me concealer on their, my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow and the majority of LA girl pro can see and then you want to use a damp beauty blender or I'm using real technique sponge Translucent powder to set my under eye. I have owned this product for years, that's why it's so beat up. And I'm also gonna bake today. And now I'm grabbing my e.l.f. contour brush and my Benefit Hula Bronzer to contour. Now, to bronze up my big ass forehead, I'm using e.l.f. contour palette with the same e.l.f. contouring brush. You can grab any small powder brush to dust up all the translucent powder on your face. And my cat is here again. Now I want to take a pencil brush for my lash line. Of the same shadow we used before, makeup bitten, and put it all over your under lash line, and use it to connect it with your eyeliner. 
And now I'm gonna take Makeup Geek Shadow Corrupt to put it on the outer corner of my lash line. And a little bit on my upper lash line, it's totally optional. On to the last shadow, I'm taking Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer to put it on my inner corner and connect it to my upper and lower shadow. Now I'm gonna put on some falsies because of my short Asian lash, I have to wear it. Otherwise, it can't possibly pull off this look. It just won't look together. Now I'm gonna just jump straight to the final look with full falsies on. Um, I'm using a mascara from Kiss Me. It's a Japanese brand, so I don't know if you guys can get it, but use any mascara that you like. from you need to make my low lash a little bit longer. And to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to take white chocolate from Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette again. And highlighter, I'm going to use Colourpop Smoke and Whistle put on my cheekbone as a base. And for powder highlighter, I want to use Kiko Bean of Light. And now I'm grabbing my e.l.f. angle contour brush with my e.l.f. contour palette to contour my nose. And what I always do is to use one side of the brush, get some powder on it, use that side to create a line and then blend it out with the brush. Now I'm just going to grab any eyeshadow brush with the small tip and use that highlight shade in the contour palette to highlight the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow, of course. And of course, who doesn't do a little dance party when you're doing makeup? And taking my e.l.f. mineral brush in the shade Jet Setter. I'm using three lip brow today, two from Colourpop, uh, the lippy stick in Creature and the matching lip line, lippy pencil, and Jordana matte lipsticks in Plum Obsession. I'm using the lip, lippy pencil to line my lips first, and then put the lippy sticks on the outer part of my lips, and then I will use the Jordana lipstick on the inner part and blend it out with the lipstick to create an ombre lift effect. And voila, you're done! <laughs>